You can stand up if you want to grab pictures of the log here. Um, the scene starts over on our right, though. Uh, that hillside over there. Dr. Grant, Tim, and Lex, this is when the three of them climb up to the top of a hill and they find a herd of Gallimimus dinosaurs. So on the other side of it is where the Gallimimus dinosaurs were running around. We jumped in the car, took Allie to school. She had to be there at seven o'clock today. <laughs> so we're gonna go to Eggs and Things, have some coffee and some breakfast. And then where we're we going? Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park today, oh my gosh. All right, we'll bring you guys along. See you in a minute. So we made it in to our favorite breakfast. So we go to the Ala Moana um, location. There's one in Waikiki, literally a block away from our our Airbnb. But there's free parking here, so that's why we just when we have a car, we just drive to Ala Moana. And so yeah, I, you already know what I'm gonna have because it's so amazing, and it's a meal on its own. It'll get me through lunch. And Justin's never been here, so he's looking over the menu going, I don't know. So you're gonna have a local favorite or not. It's pretty cool. So we're gonna have first some coffee and I'll bring you guys back as soon as they get that. And uh, I'm gonna definitely have my favorite item here, which I'll explain to you in a minute. Yeah. All right, so I went with my local moco. So Justin, what you have? I'm getting the breakfast wrap. The wrap, the yeah. yeah, that sounds good too. And it has a little flair of Hawaii in it as well. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna have some breakfast and then Jurassic Park, here we come. See you guys in a minute. All right guys, so I just broke my yolks. I had to show this, oh look at this yummy here. And of course I already know how delicious it is, but I'm, I'll share with y'all. Mm. <laughs> Ma'am. Mm. Delicious. All right. Instead of sharing this all, the I'll see you guys when I'm done. We're going to try to get out of here so we can hit the road. It's an hour drive. All right, we'll see you in a bit. All right, another great meal. Have eggs and things. If you ever come to Hawaii, I highly recommend it. It's amazing. All right, we're full. All right, let's go. Okay, we're on our way right now. We'll see you guys in a minute. Uh, we've all found our seats on board. Uh, now my name's 
Brandon, by the way. Um, if you have questions or concerns about the tour, that's my name. My name. Feel free to ask here. And uh, I'll be narrating as we're going along. And then at each of our stops, we're going to have two stops where you hop out of the bus. I'll hop out. If you need help grabbing photos, you know, feel free to ask me and help take pictures. But first things first, as we're getting underway, I do need to make sure you can all hear me right now. So if you can hear me, let me know by giving me a big old aloha. Aloha. So we're going to have an awesome time. I've got a lot of really cool stuff to show you guys today. We've got a lot of different movies and films here at Cool All Ranch. Cool locations to check out. Uh, so yeah, a lot of fun stuff to show you guys. But I do have to cover a couple quick safety things. Now, of course, nowadays we have lots of tours and movies and stuff to film here. So we have lots of tours along with our active cattle ranching. But I guarantee on our tour today, you're going to find a lot of cows along with a lot of movie locations. So I guess if you are a big fan of cows or you've never seen one before, that's something else to get excited about for this tour here today because I've got plenty to show you. Um, as far as other animals to keep a lookout for, uh, we do often find lots of wild Hawaiian chickens, um, which if you haven't seen chickens here in Hawaii yet, I don't know what you've been doing. They're everywhere, <laughs> but we have some here on our ranch as well. Um, Lots and lots of different movies and TV shows have filmed here. I'm sure you guys are all aware Jurassic franchise is a big one, but uh, lots of others, not just the Jurassic movies have filmed here. Um, after the attack on Pearl Harbor, the U.S. military declared martial law in Hawaii, and Kualoa Ranch was taken over and turned into a U.S. military air base for the duration of World War II. Then after World War II ended, the uh, ranch was given back to the owners and turned back into a cattle ranch. Even more cows off on our left there. We have three types. We have Hereford, Black Angus, and Chalet. Um, there were a lot more buildings and structures and actually a full-on like airstrip. I mentioned it was an air base, so they landed P-38 bombers here at Kualoa Ranch. Uh, but after the war ended, you know, all that was kind of like torn up, decommissioned, given back to the ranch. Um, but these bunkers, these smaller ones, uh, they just left them behind and we we're like, well, we'll keep them. They're neat. <laughs> this big one on the left here as well. did a lot of filming here at Cool Ball Ranch. Um, so to start off, uh, first Jurassic World. First Jurassic World movie. Um, there was a Jeep up at Battery Cooper. It said Jurassic World on the side. Some of you guys sat in it, took photos in it. This big field where all the tents are right now is where that Jeep was driven and they CGI'd the Gallimimus dinosaurs running alongside it in this field over here. And then the camera pans over to the mountain off on the left-hand side there, that whole ridge line. Along the base of that mountain, they CGI'd a monorail train that the boys were riding around the park in. And then quite a few, like this field was also used in one of the shots where they're in the gyrosphere rolling around and they're dinosaurs around and stuff like that. Um, so lots of different fields. Of course, a lot of CGI with the newer Jurassic movies. 
Um, a good example of that, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, they go back to Isla Nublar to rescue the dinosaurs from an erupting volcano. That mountain at the back of the valley was the volcano. They used CGI to turn that into this erupting, exploding volcano. The rest of the filming for Jurassic Park took place on the island of Kauai, uh, which is over to the northwest, and California. Um, so most of the movie was shot between those two locations. And originally, they weren't going to come here to Oahu at all. Jurassic Park was going to do all of their filming over on Kauai um, and, of course, in California as well. But while they were filming on Kauai, that's where they built all their sets. So the big iconic Jurassic Park gates and all that other stuff, that was built over on Kauai. But it's not there anymore, and that's because while they were filming on Kauai, they landed, ran into a bit of a problem, a little speed bump in their production. Um, something called a Category 5 hurricane. That hit the island of Kauai, destroyed everything. All the movie sets they built, everything Jurassic Park had on Kauai, got destroyed by this massive hurricane. Um, and it, the cast and crew was on island, like they were still filming. Some of the footage of the storm hitting Isla Nublar is actual footage of a real hurricane hitting Kauai. Um, but yeah, this footprint right here, this is actually the one that Matthew Broderick stands in in the movie. Um, it, like I said, it was a lot deeper. And then there's one more up on the hillside over there. And there was a church on the hillside that had been like ripped in half by Godzilla's foot. Mm -hmm. Um, so this Godzilla movie is not part of the current like Godzilla franchise that they've made movies of recently. This was a standalone movie. And on our left here, you'll see a couple ATVs propped up as if they're going off a big old jump. Um, so this is where the uh, ATV incident happens in the movie. So they go on a Jurassic Valley ATV tour. They don't mention Cool Law Ranch, but they talk about going to Jurassic Valley to do an ATV tour. And the girls, played by Anna Kendrick and Aubrey Plaza, they decide to do these big jumps and do some really impressive stunts. And then they're like egging the guys on because they don't, you know, <laughs> they don't think they'll do it. And then the guys don't want to be shown up by the girls. So one of them, he drives down the hill over there, all the way over here, hits this jump, and his sister is filming it while he's doing it. Um, the movie's called Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates. They're at the their sister's wedding. So the girl filming is the one getting married. So you guys have seen 50 First Dates or heard of it. Um, this road we're driving on right now, if you remember at 50 First Dates, Adam Sandler, he tries to get Drew Barrymore's attention on the... Um, also, where the sign is, that is where Ula, one of the days, he pretends to jump Adam Sandler. He's pretending to beat him up and stuff like that. Drew Barrymore pulls over, pulls out a baseball bat, proceeds to beat Ula with it, chasing him all the way down the hill into the trees way over there. Yeah, we got uh, a few uh, movie props here. Let's see if uh, Justin and I will do a selfie of this backdrop here and put it on Instagram. You can follow us on Instagram at Jeffrey's Adventures. <laughs> These are all styrofoam pieces. Now we were told that these little landmines here are not props. Those are from <laughs> actual cows. <laughs> the cows. <laughs> Just incredible how beautiful these mountains are. All right. All right, so Justin and I are gonna get a selfie next to this here. We'll send it up. Uh, Disney movie to film here. So Disney has filmed a total of two movies at Cool All Ranch. Most recent one was Mighty Joe Young, so not super recent. I mean, that movie came out the year I was born, so it's been a hot minute since Disney's been out here. <laughs> and then this one is for George of the Jungle um, with Brendan Fraser. So for George of the Jungle, the scenes where they're riding George's pet elephant around, that was a real live elephant they borrowed from the Honolulu Zoo, brought over here to Kualoa Ranch, and the actors got to ride it around and stuff. Um, so yeah, George's pet elephant scenes were built here at Kualoa Ranch. Well guys, we just went on the Jurassic tour, yeah. uh, the bus tour. Yeah, what'd you think? I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, I did too. Um, it's a bit misleading though. Yeah, I agree. They kind of, um, posterize Jurassic, yeah. everything's Jurassic. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, technically we yeah. went on the movie tour. So yeah. yes, it's gonna cover a lot of the movies yeah. and stuff like that. But I mean, it was still really cool. The, the sights are phenomenal and they had some cute little piggies that we got to see. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. And uh, the guy made a terrible joke about bacon. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was Because right afterwards there was some, uh, some little chickens and he was like, you can't have, can't have eggs without without some bacon and I mean realistically he's not wrong yeah <laughs> so yeah I mean it was really good um, we enjoyed our time yeah I, I mean the mountain views were just phenomenal yeah. the, the whole the whole picturesque 
part of being here was just phenomenal. I, that to me was what I liked about the tour the most is the scenery and no wonder they use this ranch. A lot of the studios use th this ranch for different uh, movies. So pretty cool overall. I thought outstanding job for um, the crowd. You know what I mean? It's not like there was what 60 there was 40 people per tour. 40, 40 people on the tour. So I think everyone enjoyed it overall. So cool. All right, turn on the car. I love this feature. We got this. You guys know I had a Dodge. If you followed me over the years, I had a, I had a Challenger. So to have this Charger is identical to my other uh, vehicle I used to drive. And uh, you just double click the button, turns on the air conditioner, and in Hawaii, yeah. Uh, yeah, all right, that was it. Yeah, good? All right, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye-bye.